Well, Anthony, this is a twisted story. Pledge tells a vicious beating. Vicious beating. A pledge. Fraternity hazing. It's been in the news uh, off and on the past, I don't know, 10 years or so. What happens to you if you just want to go to college and not be in a fraternity? Is there a downside to that? Because I don't see an upside of being in a fraternity well, at all. It depends where you go. I went to Geneseo. Back in the day, it was uh, it was all about being in a fraternity or sorority. Back in the stay? kind of... I know you kind of you kind of felt like you didn't really belong say. if you didn't, weren't part of a group back then. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you had all the all the fraternities walking around campus, the the sororities. It was but, a, like would and then the fraternities would, would it get, really bother anybody if they had to walk around not being part of a fraternity? No, there was plenty of people that didn't. Like I don't get. But the, uh, whole the, thing. the parties were unbelievable. You hook up with a sorority and uh, you know instant party. With girls that like to drink and, and what, uh, get you, laid. If you weren't in a fraternity, you weren't allowed to go to the sorority party? Mm, you, you would let uh, outsiders in a little bit here and All there. All right. Yeah. So I still, um, I am not getting it. But you would feel kind of out of place. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Mm. It was an instant party. I mean, you, if you're in a dorm and you want to get one of these you know, crazy parties going, you know, you, you got to know a lot of people. You have mm -hmm. to, you know, if you're in a fraternity, there's a lot of guys you hate, even though you're in, in, in the same fraternity, but it's instant party. You got a hundred guys and then you got a, a sorority with a hundred girls right there. Boom. So it's pretty much just for the parties. I, yeah, I would say so. Hmm. If people say it's for more, I, I would laugh at you. I just don't understand the whole fraternity sorority. You know, I got some good friends out of the fraternity I joined, but I, I, Do you I have a secret handshake. No, nothing stupid. Were like you in that. Lambda Lambda Lambda? <laughs> <laughs> the Black Fraternity. The Tri Lambs. The Tri Lambs, oh. yes. Um I was all about partying. You know, I, I made some good friends out of it. I, I hated it. I hated being in a fraternity. I you know, um I try mm. to be an individual. I try not to follow the trends of what's going on, but I don't know. I thought it was a good idea at the time and and then I tried to like uh leave halfway through pledging. And uh, I got a little visit from some uh, some brothers, and basically they said in a very nice way, "Just stick it out." And I'm and like, if you "Why?" Just said, "I don't want to." They're like, "Trust me, just stick it out. It's not good if you you if you quit in the middle." And what happens so if I, you just said no? They they pretty much made it clear that my life would be miserable. So uh, so I got through it, and then I saw the other guys that did drop out, and they would get the shit beat out of them basically so that you, you, and, you and drop get, out you were beaten uh, and guys would get uh yeah guys would transfer and stuff yeah they, they were, were scared i heard they would put like a blanket on you and beat you with their soap and then say remember it's just a bad dream fat boy <laughs> and you'd lay there going ow <laughs> ow 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 oh, the other guy would cover his ears and that chilling music playing then you'd pass out because uh your ow. candidate lost the election <laughs> wow, this guy. Why is Private Pile saying African American? We haven't even gotten into this, and the phones are just lit. Uh, Jake from Plattsburgh, what's up? Hey, what's up, Bone? What's going on? Um, yeah, I live, I'm still up here in Plattsburgh right now. I live about uh, 10 feet from the college. And uh, when I used to go there, they killed my, they killed my friend, one of the frats. Well, uh, by accident, obviously, right? Well, yeah, yeah, you can call it accident, but all this hazing shit is bullshit. They, uh, they fucking, they get, they were making them do the water treatment. They just kept having them drink gallons and gallons of water. Oh, oh yeah, water poisoning. I read that story. Yeah, and, uh, that's what happened. He was one of my best friends. There was like six of us, and we were all going to pledge this frat. He was pledging in the first semester. And ever since then, like, I, I don't go to the college anymore. I now go to a different one. But, uh, what, what's the water thing that make you drink? I don't understand. Well, you just drink, drink water. You could drink, uh, I didn't even drink. know this. I remember this story. You could drink uh, uh, so much water that you could die. You die. Too much water gets in your system. It starts leaking out of uh, your, your blood vessels into your brain. What, are there any signs that it's happening? You just keep doing you it? You have to drink a ridiculous amount of water. Mike, should I finish this or not? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Yeah, I wouldn't worry. I don't even know. I don't, maybe a doctor could tell us or whatever, but no, it's got to be a ridiculous amount. Yeah, over a very short period of time also. Yeah, you just got to keep forcing it in. Yeah. So. Really nasty. Wow. Yeah, I, re I remember that story. Yeah, it was in a lot of papers. Right. Okay. Well, that drunk and killing yeah, pledges is no way to go through life. Ah, he stepped on everything. Damn it. I tried to get in there. I'm doing an Animal House thing, and he's fucking talking. <laughs> Glad your friend's dead. <laughs>
Holy <laughs> yes. Ruined my line. <laughs> you had enough good ones. Very important you to me. You had enough good ones today. You this show like, is very important to me. You had a, 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 enough good lines today. You could have freaking let this guy slide. Jesus. <laughs> you didn't get enough sleep last night. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. Yeah. Maybe the line wasn't that important. Okay, Jake. <laughs> Who's the mean one on this show? <laughs> That's okay, guys. I was just saying, I was my cars are traveling advertising for you guys. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> All right. No, I love you. you guys. All right, cool. Thank you, Jake. See you guys. <laughs> and it was a good line, Anthony. It, wow. Know. I thought he was uh, off the phone by that point. I didn't yeah, realize. well, he's still there. Uh, PJ from the Bronx. How you doing, harsh. guys? First of all, that last kid, uh, it's that his friend died. If you're going to be in a fraternity, you deserve to die. Disgusting. I just don't get it. Did you, did you have your little... The sweatshirt with the little um, Greek letters on it, did uh, you? Oh, yeah, I did. I didn't wear mine uh, often, though. <laughs> often, which implies oh, you wore it uh, a few times. Yeah. What did it say on the back of your sweatshirt? Halfway down the back, did it have an arrow pointing to your ass and say, enter here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is some gayness going on. Oh, my God. You know, I did, and I, yeah, I admit that. It, it Ooh, was a little weird. You do. Would you like to admit it while reading Rent Boys? Yes. Hell no, man. I was in Genesee, my blonde hair blowing in the wind. Hell no. <laughs> Not unlike Ben's when he's in an airlocked room. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, I think, I think a lot of the fraternities, you know... The, they had their brothers paddling pledges while they were in their underwear, just like the scene in Animal House. See, I'm like, what is this about? I just want to drink a few beers from from a keg and and bang some yeah. some broads. Why am I bending over and and getting paddled by you? This goes with what I was saying earlier. A guy that if you go to school and you don't want to be in a fraternity, that's fine. It seems that the fraternities would draw in guys that want to be with other guys. In these living situations where perhaps things can happen and no, and, no, no, and there's no, no. excuses for nudity and paddling and it seems listen. like a very I, I have to step in no way I mean the pledging yes you're right the pledging was weird man I mean it, we were naked it, sir, we were see? naked. That's all I'm saying then you become a brother and then it's all about just banging chicks and, and getting you know hammered and it's one big party like all of a sudden that all that goes away as far as the fraternity i joined it's always but it there, was though. weird man but it was there in the first place it had to come from somewhere that's right it's, that ain't going away glad your friend's dead <laughs> <laughs> i know how do we even be, continue the, the, this uh that's this break my after animal that. house lines one of my favorite movies bastard dude, dude we had to do some weird shit <laughs> you pledged now what 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 did you have to do well we got paddled Paddled. See right there, a man paddling another man's ass. Yeah. Got paddled. Mm. What is the? Was it? Was it on your bare behinds? I. Do you have your? Come on, you remember? No, no, be no, 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 no. I'm, I'm. Oh, like it's 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 cool because I I had uh, my underwear on. Let me tell you something. There's underwear on paddling, I honest... which isn't very much cooler than underwear off, but off. Is really really bad. Uh, uh, both are really bad. I I think it was just underwear on. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you are you sure you don't want to say could, something? I'll else? tell you one story. You guys. Get a I, I shouldn't say you'll laugh, but because then then I'm expecting you to laugh. Right. But right. I, I have enough confidence in what I'm about to tell you. All right. There was something uh, during Hell Night. Well. Hmm. Oh. oh. It was kind of like an obstacle course around the house. Oh, a little obstacle course. And uh, this is the opening act. Don't mm -hmm. laugh at this one unless you think it's funny. Uh, we were blindfolded with tampons because that's the cool thing to do. How and do you blindfold with tampons? One on each eye, maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> big, big freaking pads. Oh, a pad, a Kotex well, whatever. pad. Whatever, right? like I know. Oh, the tampons are the ones that slide in with the string. Oh, all right. yeah, the pads, whatever, catch the so. blood before it actually they make good. The they make good blindfolds, though. I guess, yeah, thick. Yeah, sure. And then uh, one Blood stop. In them. One stop was the bathroom, <laughs> and uh, the the uh, the brothers yelling and screaming that there was a big fat ego pig that took a dump in the in the toilet. Yeah. And everyone was outraged that this big fat ego pig from the sorority. Ego. Ego. One of the sororities took the took uh, a dump in the in the fraternity bathroom, and we oh. had to get rid of that. We had to get rid of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> as in, as in, take your hands and get a good one. Wait, wait, wait! You had to pull 
human feces out of a toilet bowl. Because they were pissed at the big fat ego pig took a crap in our toilet. Now, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm thinking here, I don't think it was one of those girls that took a dump in that toilet. Um... We were, I think it was your your fraternity brother's crap. We were told later that it was bananas. What was the test? The water was cold? <laughs> Look at Jim. Ooh, wow. Where do I join? Oh, you were told later it was bananas? Yeah. Well, did your hair and hands smell like bananas or shit? I don't, rem <laughs> I don't kind remember. Kind of an easy... Not to be Columbo to... <laughs> I don't remember. I was smelling bananas, <laughs> but my hands were covered in shit. I don't remember. You don't remember? And then one of the... Uh, Grand finales was that we had a. <laughs> look, look how you, you, he's looking off into the distance in the air because he doesn't want to make eye contact and and chuckling, <laughs> thinking back at this stuff because this was this was pretty gay. Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> we had a play. Yeah. Was there a porch involved? By the way, if I tell the story. Yeah, I get to slide from reading out of that book the first time I mess up, or I don't tell the story. I thought you were reading out of the book. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm making a deal right now with you. The first time you mess up? Yeah. Okay. You all get right. to slide. Yeah, because this is brutal. All right, all right. You can tell by how. Uh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough, sir. So fair we're enough. we're in our underwear doing the obstacle course around the house mm -hmm. with the grand finale that waited for us in the basement, which was, I uh, can't give that away. Because uh, I'll, I'll get killed, so they say. Oh, wait, wait. Is it a secret fraternity? You're not allowed to speak a thing? Well, it's the grand finale, yeah. Um, we had to play Bomb <laughs> the DK House, our rival fraternity. Bomb the DK oh, House. Oh, which we hated, mm. of course. Rumor has it that this fine fraternity did some crazy things themselves. Well, DK one was dick kissers, so they sound like a <laughs> wild bunch. Well, one of the rumors, I can't, I don't know for sure, was that uh, the pledges had to put, and this is in my fraternity, uh, put uh, uh, wax lips on and, uh, and give oral treats to the brothers. That's the rumor that was going Wait, around when I went to college. How do you give oral with the wax I lips on? I have no idea. Yeah, it's got to be a rumor. Aren't that they connected? Well, some kind of Maybe you whatever. just rub the lips against the side of the... Maybe you grab a hold of that thing, you just grab right. it like it's nobody's business, and you rub the and wax go. lips. <laughs> so, uh... On the side, yeah. Mm. Bomb the DK house. I guess they had a little house set up. I don't know, because mm. we were blindfolded, a doll house. Uh -huh. And we had to pick up the bombs. <laughs> Not using our hands. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness! What were what were the bombs made out of? The bombs, I believe, were marshmallows <laughs> with your ass cheeks. Holy <laughs> shit! I can't even look uh, at you. I cannot even uh, turn my head and look at you. Oh uh, yeah! Our marshmallows allowed in the barracks. <laughs> and then we now now wait. In order to pick it up with ass cheeks, you can't have been wearing underwear. Nope. We, uh, uh yeah, the, well, they were still on our body, technically. They were kind of Around your ankles as you or, scurried uh, along? <laughs> squatting, a sweaty, nervous, trying to fit in, ass crack cheeks, opening up, oh. picking up what is normally a delicious treat. And then you had a, <laughs> then you had a waddle over to the house. And, and drop the marshmallow. Right. As the, the fraternity brothers that were in charge of this whole thing went, yeah, you, you <laughs> dropped that marshmallow on that house. Drop it. Yeah. 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 Wow. And then was anything done with the marshmallows? Who had to clean up the marshmallows? Have, um, Who had to pick them up? I have no idea. I Did really don't know. The pledge didn't idea. have to clean up the marshmallows? And then, uh, then, you know, then Hell Night was over, and then it got back to... That's the weird part. Then it got back to just one big party and banging broads. How many sorties did you fly over the tar target? Target, <laughs> dude. It was weird, man. There was another time. By the way, from now on, just forget the Rent Boy book. If anyone screws up, they have to read a transcript of that story. I know. That's the oh. new punishment. I Open know. Bombay doors. <laughs> <laughs> Enola Gay. <laughs> oh, it's awful. There was another time. This was when I was. Uh, this was when I was rushing. Yeah. This is a legendary story, and. uh and the girl never pressed charges, so it's okay. She actually partied with us the next day. Pressed charges. And thought it was uh, actually very cool. Um, when I was rushing the fraternity, that's where you go to the fraternity houses, and they try to convince you to uh, pledge their fraternity. Yeah. 
and all the brothers come back from all over the country, you know. They get away from their wives yeah, for a San weekend. Francisco, Miami, <laughs> no, 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 no. all all the country. Look, I can't. Key West, Fire Island. <laughs> I, can, I can't. Even, over. I can't even fight my way out of that story. So I'll just let you guys be. But yeah. Um, so, you ever put them in your ass cheeks and then warm them over a nice campfire? Did you? <laughs> or maybe you could squat over my cocoa. <laughs> Marshmallow in your ass. All you need are graham crackers, and you got s'mores. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Already got the delicious chocolate coating. <laughs> Dude, uh, I oh, that's awful. I witnessed when you I try was that with hot dogs. All right, all right, frozen. All right, <laughs> all right relax, Jesus. Hey, watch it, I'm carrying a bunker buster here. <laughs> Look, I share with you guys, and this is what I get. Yeah. This is what I get. I got a banana. This you want to try fact. to pick it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it, was <laughs> it was pretty weird. It's just awful. Yeah, that is a real bad thing. Was it actually hard getting the marshmallow off the guy's cockhead? <laughs> 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 He'd bury it in his pubes. You have to go all the way down, <laughs> grab it, and come back up. <laughs> oh, what an uh, yeah, very funny. Uh, uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> Got to remember though that I try to get out of all this too. Anyway, um, so when I was rushing, there was a girl. They bring the sorority over, and we were having a huge party. And this girl. Uh, this girl decided that she wanted some bukkake, I guess. Greg, where are the marshmallows, Greg? <laughs> Cindy, I need those marshmallows, Cindy. Oh no, Dad, there's a lima bean skin on the marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, come down with those marshmallows, Peter. <laughs> oh, that is just an awful thing to have to go through. <laughs> it really was. Hey, Alice, did you go shopping this weekend? Hope you picked up plenty of marshmallows. Got the guys coming over. <laughs> We're gonna bomb the card house we just built with marshmallows. <laughs> Yes, I hope you picked up some of those little hot cocoa marshmallows for Bobby's tight little ass. <laughs> I'm going home now. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I had a waddle. Someone's asking if I had a waddle. Cindy, you left some marshmallow stains on the teeter teeter totter, teeter totter, on the teeter turner, you asshole. I knew I went one too far. What a dick. <laughs> you were feeling you were feeling oh, good about yourself. Oh, I'm a Tina Turner. <laughs> or, or, uh, oh. <laughs> How about Greg? That's not a marshmallow. That's Oliver's nose. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The marshmallows. You bomb a house. What's the big deal? You pick it up yeah, and then you, have, you waddle across the. Uh, right, hey, I ask you a question. You waddle. It looks funny. <laughs> you're walking funny. I understand. Do you ever get a rod watching the end of Ghostbusters? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is coming from the monster ring guy. Yes. Yeah. Who cares? You're dropping marshmallows, <laughs> dropping T <tea> cells, <laughs> whatever. Marshmallow rain. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, the other story is not as good. Well, it is good, but no one's going to remember the other story when they're thinking <laughs> about this show later. <laughs> but uh, this girl uh, had no problem being trained by the whole fraternity. Not the whole trained. Fraternity. Yeah. <laughs> During rushing, the old uh, one guy goes, the next guy goes, the next guy, and everyone, a gang bang. Was, but only it's all not at the same time. It's no, not there in was single uh, file. I remember it like it was yesterday. There was a keg outside the the uh, the room, and the brothers all lined up with just their underwear on and took turns. And, and there was a long line all the way down the hall. Hey, how about that? <laughs> I didn't partake, by the way. Oh, you didn't? No. Why not? Yeah. Were there any uh, Dude, condoms you being used? Were you on no, your stomach with a no, line at your no, door? No. <laughs> Shut up, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Oh, no. Ugh. I mean, wow. They pounded it so hard, it looked like it was whipped cream in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> they churned that marshmallow into butter. <laughs> I'm turning your mic off. I have that power, you know. You're done. Just a slice of bread and you got a fluff and nutter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're done. <laughs> I'm, I'm turning you off. Okay. I can't. I can't take any more. He's very entertaining today. <laughs> All right. All right. Well. Oh. Oh. Now there was so much splooge on her. It wasn't even funny. I guess. Because they weren't nice about it either. <laughs> no. So, someone sent in, "Hey, Ope, who was the president of the fraternity? Jim McGreevy? <laughs> <laughs> that was Fat Philbin <laughs> from New Jersey." <laughs> Oh, I mean, she's, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm a proud marshmallow carrying American. <laughs> oh. 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 I admit during my term as governor, I carried marshmallows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, well, you know something? Bravo, Opie, for, you know, opening up, well... Oh. <laughs> Only when drop time. <laughs> <laughs> Only when, well, went over the primary target. <laughs> yeah, because <sighs> yeah, that is, you know, to admit that is... But it was many years ago. Yeah, he didn't know you any know. better. Of course not. No. Marshmallow bombing run on the little house. That's... Yeah, that's you can't really defend that one. No, no. Nah, it's not wrong with that. Not. I figured I'd share, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Let's say hi to Anthony in Jersey. Anthony! What's up, fellas? Hey, how are Hello. you, Hello. Hey, Ope, we share a common thread. Yeah? We oh. both had Coach write us papers in Geneseo. For oh, right on, man. Almost got me kicked out of school. Let me ask you a question. How did you share a thread? Did you put Rice Krispies on your dick and meet up all with Ope right. and make all Rice right, Krispies treats? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You know what? I was in a different fraternity. Our fraternities hung out. We didn't do any of that kind of stuff. But uh, what fraternity were you in? Sig Tau. Well, Sig Tau. Yeah, those guys were. Uh... I played. I spent many a nights at your fraternity playing whales tails in the basement. Oh. How cool were the parties, though? Oh, the parties. The parties were. I tell you what. Pledging was the worst mm. thing I've ever done over a of span of five weeks. But once in a marshmallow done, comes out of Malamar. <laughs> <laughs> once you're done, though, it's the best thing. And then the parties uh, are rocking. <laughs> parties are rocking. It was just, uh, it was. I'm not gonna lie, it was like really strange. It was bizarre that that you go down that road just so you could the old dirt road. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Get on that highlight. Opie, Opie, <laughs> Opie's fraternity, at least when I was there a couple years after you, was certainly not a drug-free fraternity. I'll no, man, we were. They were smoking poles. <laughs> no, no, these guys, these guys were hardcore. Those guys had connections to South America out of there. No, there was, uh, wow. there, there was major drug fiends, huh? major cocaine going through that fraternity. I had a friend that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure they're also good at smuggling. It. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to attempt a kilo? Yeah. yeah. That's what you squat over Columbia. <laughs> You come back up, pick up a plant, get on a plane. <laughs> but I got, I got a good, uh, well, I got a bad story to tell you, an unfunny story. Here, I'll try to lower the expectations. Very but good. We, uh, w one thing that we had to go through was, you know, they blindfold you, throw. We had about eighteen guys we pledged with. They throw like three each in a car, you know, blindfold you. This is about like midnight, and it's you know below uh, below zero up there. And they drop you off like 30 miles away. From oh, wait college. a minute. I, I, I got to jump in. That was another thing we did. They would get you really wasted, uh, making believe, you know, you were taking a break from pledging. and, and Oh, uh, yeah, you're one of the guys hanging oh, out. Oh, yeah. Well, that's oh, yeah. what it was. It's all about that. It's like, you know, they the, they abuse you like crazy. And then also when you think there's more abuse, then they throw you a party. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they invite the sororities. But then sometimes these parties were set up. And then, and, and what and what they do is they get you really wasted, man. And you know you're smoking pot and you're drinking. Next thing you know, they uh, completely attack you, tie you up, put a blindfold on you, and throw you in cars. Ooh. And 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 depending on how much they liked you or didn't like you, <laughs> they would drop you off in the middle of nowhere. And Geneseo, man, it's all farms, all farms. I mean, you can't figure it out. And they would just drop you off in the middle of, of a field. You're complete. I'm telling you. Were you, you naked or? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. I, you're completely hammered. I'm, to the point you can't really even, like, stand some of these guys. Mm -hmm. And they would drop you off with another guy or maybe two other guys. 
and then you had to find your way home. Only a marshmallow to eat for the whole way back. <laughs> right. No, no money, nothing. <laughs> and some of these guys would be dropped off in Canada. Really? Yeah, because this guy's saying thirty miles. Our fraternity, no, there was some pledges that the brothers just hated, and they would they would drop them off over the border in Canada. Which uh, I, do the math? I don't know. At least a couple hundred miles, right? Oh uh, yeah, at least a hundred miles. At least a hundred miles away, and then they, uh, you know, they, all night long they're, t- they're trying to get back to you know, c- you know, the school. Brother Flounder and Brother Pinto. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. Long walk back, <laughs> Anthony. Go ahead. No, well, you know, and getting dropped off up there is not like getting dropped off on Jericho Turnpike back on the island. Well, that's right. Know? That's what I said. I mean, yeah. it's all farm, so you're, you're waiting for that one truck, hopefully, to be you know driving down that uh, old country road. Mm. And they tell you, they tell you, you know, they they gave us each like a six pack and some joints. And the deal is, you know, you're supposed to bond and use each other to find your way back. They're like, you're not supposed to ask any for any help. It's about 2 in the morning, and I say, enough is enough. I'm going, and I'm knocking on this door. It was a big farm, but it was a house. So I go and knock on the door about 2 in the morning. The dogs start barking. The lights come on. The kids, you know, so the guy finally comes downstairs. I um, apologize for waking him up and all, but I go, I just need directions back to Geneseo. He looks at me and the two guys standing in the street, and he goes, well, where's your car? And I said, uh, we're on foot. He just shook his head. He knew it was a fraternity thing and just said, boy, there's no way you're going to make it back. So we made it back finally about 7 in the morning, but I would say at least three or four guys had to go to the infirmary with frostbite and things like that. So Nice. There you go, frostbite. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff you can laugh about now. All right. Thank you, Anthony. Let's uh, say hi to Chris in New York. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's going on, boys? What's up? Uh, Opie, the yeah. grand finale. Yeah. Was it the cum cookie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Did you have to do any of this weird gay crap? I started getting into it, and then that's when I left the semester. I de pledged someone in the other uh, in the other school in town died, and then later on I went to move to the house with my friends. We had better parties than the fraternity. So all right. How, how did he die? He had so many marshmallows in his ass they began to leak into his brain. You're obsessed with this marshmallow thing. Out of sugar poisoning. <laughs> so anyway, this pledge tells a vicious beating, Anthony. Mm. Uh, the victim of a twisted hazing ritual told the Queen's jury yesterday he urinated blood and suffered seizures after three members of a St. John's frat pummeled him on the buttocks with a two-pound paddle. Ooh. Once again with the paddle. Paddling an ass. The beatings were punishment for slip-ups during hardcore drill sessions in an off-campus park, said uh, Brian. We had to recite history poems and if we were incorrect or we messed up we'd get paddled if you bobbled your words when you spoke if you recited a poem wrong history wrong or answered a question wrong you got oh hit oh my god you bobble your words imagine the collins ass would look like chopped meat <laughs> <laughs> colin quinn yeah yeah the three face up to seven years in prison for the assaults which allegedly took place in june uh the, this uh, fraternity has a policy uh that forbids uh, hazing anthony oh. It, it's still going on, though. They have to tell the, the campus that, oh, no, our fraternity doesn't do the hazing. And, uh, yeah, he was in the hospital for, like, three months with all sorts of kidney problems and urinating blood and all that. Yeah, if you're not doing something that's extremely gay, you're doing something that could probably kill somebody well, or send him to the hospital. He's getting paddled. That's that's the, Getting paddled is gayer than the, the marshmallow <laughs> thing is really humiliating and silly gay well you could call it silly that's one word dude yeah gay i wasn't naked naked you picked them up with your ass cheeks it didn't uh, mosey had, its way into your underwear no i had like this and then this that's awful and this oh what well, you because your mule wasn't showing no. you just slipped a little no. the boyish stain with you know, nervous your, sweat your yam bag was bouncing off the marshmallow <laughs> as you're just kind of bunny hopping with your socks and sneakers a marshmallow marshmallow hanging Ugh. Did you get caught up in hair <laughs> something get a little sticky i don't remember yeah would you do that aunt i i would <laughs> not aunt, no i would I, so not even listen, be within this, a, a listen. hundred mile blast radius of whatever was going on listen this was at a, a fraternity this was a different i there's no way i would do anything <laughs> Like that again. 
Mm. It was a different time. It was. I don't know what, what time was it. It was. I don't know. It was bizarre. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was really yeah. weird. All right, want a break? All righty.